Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video, I am using um, Southern Girls Dip, um, the Bridgerton collection. And this was the winner um, over on the Facebook page. If you haven't joined, definitely go check it out. But this is the winner of my Saturday Pick My Manny post. Um, this is what uh, everybody voted for, for the most part. This is what won. Um, and it's fun over there because I actually get to do a giveaway. So if you vote, if you join the group, and you vote for um, a Manny, and it is the winning Manny. If you vote, I'm sorry, if you vote for colors, and it's the winning colors, um, I put everybody in like a wheel of names, and I pick their names out, and the winner gets a ten dollar gift card. So, it's fun little interaction, and you absolutely get to win something. Um, so yeah, definitely go check out the Facebook page. Um, my code Larissa15 saves you fifteen percent on your order. So check that out. Um, she has an Etsy shop right now. I know that she's trying to set up a website at some point. Um, so yeah, but I am just doing a fun little snowman Manny. I'm doing my usual two layers of base of dip powder and I'll cure for, you know, anywhere between 60 seconds to two minutes, um, for each layer, just depending on how dark colors are. Um, and yeah, I will go over with my builder gel like I have been the last couple of videos, and then I'm going to do the um, cute little snowman and snowflakes on top of that. So I will let you guys watch for a little bit, um, and I'll be back when it is time to paint on the snowman.
right now on to the fun part um so this was actually pretty easy for me to do um so i am not very talented when it comes to like drawing on my nails or anything like that um but i did uh follow a picture of a snowman honestly um and that yeah that was it i mean snowmen aren't very hard there's not you know a lot of complicated things to them so if you can draw one on a piece of paper you could most likely do one on your nails um it just takes a little bit of you know practice here and there um so of course i didn't get it right the first time but that's okay that's the best part about using gel and everything like that and di uh, dip in the first place but um using gel to draw on your nails because i was able to just wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol and start again um so pretty easy i'm just drawing you know two circles stacked on top of one another a, a bigger one on the bottom a smaller one on the top um filling them in and i'm curing really often so i draw the circles fill them in and cure and you only have to cure for like 30 seconds because it's not a lot of product um, and then I come back and I draw the hat on, the arms, and the eyes, the face, and the, and the buttons with the um, black. I'll have all of these gel polishes linked, linked down below, but I do use some beetle polish um, and a couple others that I got off of Amazon. For, they were pretty inexpensive, so I'll link them all down below. Um, but yeah, so I drew on the, the hat, the arms, the eyes, the mouth, and the buttons, and I cured that for another, you know, 15 or so seconds. And then I drew on the carrot nose, cured that. And then I thought it looked a little too bare, so I drew on a little scarf on him. And he looks so cute. And so I cured that after the after I did the little scarf, and then I came back and I just dotted on some little, um, you know, mini snowflakes. And then I drew some more snowflakes on my ring finger. Um, and I do have a um, tutorial that I posted already. Um, on how to do these snowflakes um so if you want a little bit more in depth um go check out that that last video um but yeah it really wasn't all too difficult to do and i really think he's he came out so cute and i'm so happy with him and i'm actually wanting to get into more nail art and kind of you know go out of my comfort zone with nail art because a lot of times as you know I, lo I love to use you know stamping and and um, decals and stuff like that and that's fun and it's a really good way to just get a really nice detailed mani without a whole ton of work but I definitely want to get more into seeing what I can do so um, expect some more videos of that coming along soon but yeah I will let you guys watch how I created this cute little snowman and I will be back with some final thoughts
All right, my friends, look at this. I really, really like how this came out. Um, I think it looks so, so cute, and it was so much easier than I anticipated. Um, definitely give it a shot if you want to um, be willing to work out of your comfort zone. It was definitely worth it for me. Um, I've already gotten a lot of compliments on my nails, and people still can't believe that I do them myself. Um, I'm going in with the Cinnamon Roll um, Cuticle Oil. This one came in my Advent Calendar. I can't wait for Advent Calendars to start. Um, I'm so excited. I know that there are so many beautiful colors. Um, and the best part is they're not all Christmas colors. So, you know, you can wear them all year round. But, yeah, um, definitely uh, go give me a follow on Instagram, at Larissa Nails It. Go check out, you know, Southern Girls Dip on Facebook. Um, check out her Etsy page. Um, like, comment, um, subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching.